I have Shalom. So I'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, and all the double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and salutations to the brothers, the sincere brothers who push in this wood in sincerity and in truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakha Kodash. I just want to say Shalom and um, I just want to do a quick video here just to show that David being a prophet actually saw the destruction of Esau the same destruction that Job saw David, uh, uh, um, David also saw and this is just to, just to show you that the Edomites were really going to be done with it you know that is the judgment Putting into the Edomites, and um, David actually wrote about the destruction here in the book of Psalms. And um, I just want to know that it should be noted, I should say, it should be noted that the book of Psalms is actually full of prophecies, prophecies that hasn't been even come to pass as yet. The book of Psalms is full of them, but they have to have, have, to have the spiritual eyes to actually unlock the prophecies and understand it, you know. And um, like I say, I don't, I don't want to make this video long to the interest of time now. just want to show you guys that David actually saw the destruction of Esau, which actually cuts this bullshit doctrine that the preacher know that state that saying that either might have salvation and you know and the actually the scriptures are different uh, this is acts chapter 2 verse 30 see therefore being a prophet and knowing that the power yahweh has sworn with an oath to him that of his first that of his fruit of his loins according to the flesh he would raise up Yahweh Shai to sit on his throne. Right? Now we all know that the Mosai, so in the second Samuel, the Mosai actually swore unto David that by his loins, you know, he will raise up a king and the king and his kingdom will last forever. You know. That is that and that will also go into that even why that Solomon was Yahweh Shai. And um, the first part of the scripture is stating, the stating that therefore being a prophet, so David was a prophet. David was a prophet. And through the scriptures we know that the Most High revealed his, his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So David actually knew. So that is why David could have write Psalms, he could have prophesied in Psalms and all the other books that he wrote he actually prophesied the downfall of the white man you know this is um this well the so-called white man which is the Edomite today he said this is this is psalms the 37th chapter mm, and i will start from 34 he said wait on the lord Yahweh and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Now when you read the Psalms, the 37 chapter, you could actually read from Psalm from the 37 chapter, from the first verse. From the first verse, actually clarifying it, clearer to you that this is actually talking about Esau, the so-called white man. And if you can't see that when you read the whole chapter of Psalm the 37 chapter, then the Mosa is not dealing with it. You, you do not have the spiritual eyes to see it. So there is Psalm 37, verse 34. He said, Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. I have seen the wicked in great power. I have seen the wicked in great power. Now who is actually running the world today? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Which are the so-called Edomites. You know, well not the so-called, they are the Edomites, the so-called white man. 
you know they are they are in the power seat they, they are in the driving seat say um psalm 37 verse 35 he said i have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree and how a green bay tree does spread it has spread it has grown it has spread right who actually going into nations and, and, and other nations and actually causing war and chaos to control the resources and everyone and everyone knows that when they control a resource of a country actually control the whole country our job said it that 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 it, 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 he never satisfied so he actually spread and he actually spread his power he actually spread his, his dominance as you say over the earth see and spreading himself like a bee tree yet he yet he passed away and lo he was not yet he passed away because the Mosiah how about some of shall come to actually take down the so-called devil you know and and the, the dominance he has now that we are the, the poor and needy you know we cannot take down this devil we don't have the tools the most i never give us the tools physically to take up to take down this devil but the most i give us greater power by reading the scriptures and then we will get the physical spiritual power yes i said the physical spiritual power that the eyes can actually see that actually see the power you know but right now we just in the state of this because actually breaking down the scriptures that is actually spiritual power actually to get the understanding of the scriptures is actually spiritual power but that is all the most i give us for now you know so that's why we have to wait on your bar to actually come and take us out of this hellhole because we don't have no power physically they, um, this is Psalm 37 verse 36 he said yet he shall pass away and lo he was not yea I sought him but he could not be found he could not be found because it happened at time that after these Edomites these, these bankers they are going into hardcore slavery and after they saved the slavery after the slavery and the hell they are going to go to they will be cut off forever now the scriptures say here that I sought him but he could not be found he could not be found and that 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 this is the same thing that Job saw this is Job chapter 20 verse 5 he said that the triumph the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite for but for a moment though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reached reached unto the clouds he shall perish forever like his own dung he shall perish forever like his own dung you know and when you really think about it like when you when you um like actually you take a shit i should say you take a shit and actually see a dung and you, you wash with that shit you, you don't see it again They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? So they will be actually looking for him and they can't find him. Because he will be perished, he will be he will, he will utterly be destroyed. You see, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Ye he shall be he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place neither shall his place any more behold him. And that red deep because his place is where Babylon the Great which America which will, which will actually be destroyed the biggest desert on the face of the earth right and the eye shall see him shall see him no more meaning that what after his slavery after the, his torment that he have to go to after the hell that the Mosiah how about some shy after the judgment he put on the so-called white man he shall his end shall be cut off it shall be cut off. Let's do into Psalms, Psalm the thirty-seven chapter. It 
to Psalms chapter 37 verse 9 he said for evil doers shall be cut off but those that wait upon the Lord they shall inherit the earth and all we doing we actually waiting on the Mosai actually going out on the highways and byways and putting out videos you know we actually hastening the day at the Mosai how about some you shy you know for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be for yet a wicked while and a wicked shall not be and as I answer so the Mosai actually dealing with timing that is just to show that the Mosai how about some you shy deals with timing now this is the timing for the white man to reign this is the assignment that the Mosai set up for, for him to reign. This is, um, when I say that, this is Job chapter 14. I think it's here, Job chapter 14, verse 5. If I'm not mistaken, Job chapter 14, verse 5, he's saying, Seeing his days are determined, days are determined, what is meaning that what? His days are numbered. The Mosai actually set up a number of years i should say of dominance for the so-called kingdom you know and and even though like back in like in history actually history the secular history show you that all kingdoms have an end all kingdoms what was on the face of the earth have an end right and right now we are the ending of this 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 wicked kingdom you know we are the end like why things speeding up so fast because we are at the end because he knows the so-called white man knows that he is he's at the end because the most i put that in his spirit the most i actually give him that spirit to actually speed up things you know so that why we have the mark of the beast coming out which is the rfid chip you know the money collapsing right unrest all over the earth you know due, due to the decisions these 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 bankers be make, making you know the mobile agenda so the most i actually put a time span for him to rule and yes as the most i actually put up the the, 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 the so-called white man the you know the devils to actually rule yes the most i put the the earth in the hands of the wicked because all that is his plan all that is the Mosai plan he said this is Job 14 verse 5 he says seeing his days are determined the number of his months are with thee he said thou has appointed his bonds that he cannot pass so it have a time in that the Mosai actually put that he cannot pass that time so that's why we actually living in some great days brothers great 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 days because we actually seen the the downfall of this kingdom but the prophets and them actually wish to see you know we actually living in this time so we have to be of good cheer you know we have good cheer because at the end of the day the sincere brothers will actually want to see nuclear missiles hit america they actually want to see chariots coming to beam us up you know that is the joy that is unexplainable joy you know and even your house i talk about that in i think it's in um john the 16th chapter say so yet for a little while that's roughly paraphrasing yet for a little while you see me but you shall see me again and your sorrows will start turning into joy and no man can take it you know so we actually waiting for the city chariots you know that is our joy that is a real great great joy we actually seeing chariot sightings now regular you know that is, that does give us a boost that does give us a a, a, a spiritual confidence to have the faith in our bash on your side you know but not to stray from the topic it is that that the most i actually give esau the world to run today you know but that is for your timing that thing will last forever so that's why we as the poor and needy who are the Israelites, the sincere Israelites are the poor and needy, we actually have to wait on the Lord to inherit the earth. You know? So going back to um to Psalms, Psalms 37, 
verse 10 he said for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be thou shalt diligently consider his place and shall not be and it shall not be so we then let's read that in job the 20th chapter job 20 verse 9 he said the eye also shall which shall which shall which saw him shall see him no more neither shall his place any more behold him so it will have no place for the wicked in the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yoshai after his slavery and after the punishment that he has to serve. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what a glory that shall be. What a glory that shall be. Even the trees, even the trees shall be glad. So David, David actually wrote about the destruction of the so-called Edomites in the book of Psalms, the 37th chapter. And he actually saw the same vision that Job saw. You know, and at the end of the day, all the prophets actually saw the visions, but they actually wrote it down in a different way, but it actually the same thing. And he had, had the, the spiritual eyes to actually see it. He said here, Psalm 37, verse 11, he said, But the meek shall inherit the earth, which are the Israelites, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Because when have no more wars, it will be, uh, uh, um, what's the answer, Ezekiel, the 38 chapter, you know, the 38 chapter, I think, the 38 chapter or the, the 28 chapter, say that Israelite is roughly paraphrasing that Israel shall, no, more, no one shall make them afraid again. You know, he said, But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall del delight themselves in the abundance of peace, which are the Israelites. The wicked plotted against the just and gnashed upon him with his teeth, I meaning with his power. You know, and the just who are, who are who are the just, the Israelites. He said, The Lord shall laugh at him, for he said that his day is coming. So the Heavenly Father and how the Heaven, one of the ways how the Heavenly Father laughing is through the prophets right now because we are the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father. So when they, when they, when they bring the wicked deeds to pass, we shall laugh when they bring the wicked laws to pass. We laugh him because we actually see that we are in the time and that this, this, this wicked kingdom is going to be taken down. He said the wicked have drawn out the sword and what the modern day saw is, sword is, is actually the IB. The ICBMs, missiles, the guns, the ammunitions, you know that the money they sold. You see, and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy, which are the Israelites. And the bow representing the, what, the power struck there. And to slay such be as of upright conversations. Whoa! So that's actually talking about to slay the such as be of upright conversations that are actually talking about us you know because it might have a it will not might it will have a time in that we shall not be on the streets anymore because it will be illegal for us to be on the streets you know actually pushing this wood actually pushing the downfall of this wicked kingdom which is which is upright conversation preaching the downfall of this wicked kingdom the downfall of this wicked society you know, the downfall of the devil with this so-called white man. The, actually speaking, the everlasting kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yoshai, which is upright conversations. We, we, we shall be labeled as terrorists. We shall be marked. We shall be pursued. We shall be persecuted. You know? And we shall be labeled as terrorists because why we, 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 we will we will be against this world we will be against the, the, the new world order which they're which they trying to establish so that's why the scripture say the mix shall wait we shall wait to inherit the earth because we have to wait on your bash on your side and then their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken the power structure shall be broken, the kingdom shall be taken down. You know, and the, and the sword, the modern day sword, the nuclear missiles, because the most I actually give them the technology to make it, because he actually gave the, the earth into the hands of the wicked.
but for a period of time you know this this kingdom will last forever this kingdom will last forever you know and that is but that is what separates the spiritual men out here that they actually come into terms they actually it they actually convince in their mind spiritually that they actually understand why we are created and we are created that actually speak for the downfall of this kingdom that is what we created for you know and some brothers will wake up more um, faster than some brothers and some brothers might actually come into this thing near to the end but at the end of the day it's actually to do one thing to speak the downfall and they speak the kingdom you know that is Psalm 37 verse 13 he said the Lord shall laugh at him for he said that his day is coming the wicked have drawn out their bows out their sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversations and the poor and needy is who the Israelites the Israelites today are the poor and needy starting with the elect the 144,000 and the elect because even say, even David said that in the um, Psalms Psalm 40 verse 17 he said but I am poor and needy yet the Lord think it upon me the Lord thinking upon us so you have to have that courage you have to have that faith that they know that they actually do the will of the Heavenly Father because the Most High actually put us here to do His will not your will but not anybody else's will but His will you know so that's why when you read Psalms the book of Psalms and stuff it's full of prophecies David actually saw what Job saw and if you don't have the spiritual eyes to actually understand and actually to see that the Edomites will be done away in the kingdom they have no place for them into the, into the kingdom but after they serve the slavery and the hardcore slavery, two times slavery for the wickedness and the evil deeds they shall be cut off forever they shall perish forever thus said they have a basham you so with that I was watching the time so with that and I say all give all praises all honor and all glory to Yahweh basham you shy you know double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that rule well you know and salutations to the brothers who push in this word in sincerity and in truth who actually long to see the downfall of this wicked kingdom and who actually waiting for that joy to actually see the chariots to be beamed up and it's a shallow one